Okay, just a little warning about this episode. Uh, I was in a bit of a rush uh, because I well, I'm about to leave now actually to go somewhere. So I was in a time limited situation. But worst of all, it was kind of like one of those episodes where nightmare of failure, which is usually followed by a dream of success. So I can't remember, but I had a bad episode than a good episode. Then with episode 9 and 10, I had a bad time trying to get everything worked out and I couldn't. Then at episode 10, I worked it out. So now this is episode 11, the next bad episode. Just so you know, I filmed the episode. I tried out wine and I had a lot of difficulty getting it working and eventually the recording cut out. I don't know at what point the recording cut out, but you're going to find out and, I'll exp and, and I ended up explaining everything at the end of the video that I did anyway, so nothing really worked. So you guys can help me in the next episode to work out what I need to do to get everything working. See you then. Welcome to another episode of Adventures in Arch Linux. In this episode we're going to try and run Shift OS, which is actually a Windows game. Okay, now Shift OS is not supported at all by Linux. And we're going to try and get it running on Arch Linux using Wine, the Mono framework, because it was programmed in Visual Basic.net. So, none of this is really supposed to be compatible for Arch Linux unless it's actually got the e exact, like, you know, Windows y kind of packages. So, we're going to now try in just 45 minutes if I can get my password right because I have to leave extremely soon so this episode is going to be a timed challenge let's begin okay here we go we're on the air right now so I'm gonna quickly as you can see we're already a minute down because I said I've got 45 minutes now I've only got 44 minutes left because I've got to get this done by 5:15. so let's quickly open up GEC I always say it wrong GUVC viewer and put it like this. Okay. There we go. So that can go on the top corner. Now let's quickly, quickly, quickly open up Firefox. So what we're going to try and do is get wine first of all. Um, I should open up Octopi. I'll just minimize that. So let's look up. Wine Arch Linux. Oops, getting confusing there. Wine Arch Linux. Okay, so in Octopi, I'm not seeing any packages yet. Let's just have a little quick read about Wine, first of all. This one is going to be a truly uncut video. Usually I cut just a few things every now and then. I've just realized that I'm a bit out of angle. I cut a few things every now and then. When I say cut, I don't mean I actually cut the recording. I just mean what I do is I press stop recording on the camera every now and then. So what I'm going to do, and I know I'm dark, I'm going to fix that in a little while. So let's quickly try now and grab wine. Where is UV? Okay. Wine. So I've got wine and wine mono and wine tricks and wine geck. Script to install. What? Well, okay. So what? What are all of these? Let's see. Info. So one. Our compatibility layer for running Windows programs. Well, I'm going to want that. So let's install Wine first. Whoa. I've always wanted DOSBox. So let's go grab DOSBox. And I'll just look at a few more of these things. Cups printing system may as well get that. Let's see what else we've got. We've also got implementation of Linux sound support. Oh, no, I won't want that. Just looking for anything specific. And GIF images, sure. To create PNG, yup, sure. Library which provides secure layer. Now, okay, I think that we'll keep it. We'll keep it like that now. So, okay, and to be installed, yes, tick, yes. Okay, so it's going to install all of those packages. There we go. Downloading. Now, will it? You were kidding me. I need to do a system update. Oh, actually, it's got it. I should do a system update that date, though, because I haven't done one for two weeks. While that installs, I'm going to quickly close the blind so I'm not so dark. There we go. 
And it's good to see the um, auto light adjustments working. Like the room just became darker then, and the webcam adjusted lights. Like even this like GUVC video viewer was able to do that without like the native Logitech webcam software. So that's fantastic. Yeah, I can see a lot of these must be updating their repositories because look at all these errors we're getting. Okay, so I should do an update pretty much straight straight after we install this. But when you update, you have to reboot, so oh, it's a hard decision to make. I think we might go without an update this episode, and then we might update Arch Linux in the next episode. We've got 40 minutes. 40 minutes? Yeah, about 40 left. Okay, so let's look at the packages. So one is a compatibility layer. Installation. Wine can be installed with the package Wine available in the official repositories, and that's what we're getting now, Wine. Okay, good. If you're running 64-bit, you need to enable the multi-lib repository. Multi-lib, fantastic. You may want to install Wine Gecko and Wine Mono for applications that need support for Internet Explorer and the .NET framework. Sure, so I definitely will need to get those. Now, what we're going to do while we're waiting is try and download... Good, that's still downloading. Try and download ShiftOS. So we're going to go to the official ShiftOS website which is 12patterns.wix.com slash shift os and shift os website should be loading now yep here we go hijacked and thrown into an experimental operating system it's your job to evolve it here's a nice looking website with some screenshots of shift os which you can shift it to really look like a lot of different things. Okay. Now, and it start, it's like cool because it starts off as text-based terminal and then it evolves. There we go, expanding and evolving Shift OS. Great. So let's go to download. And we'll get Shift OS 0.0.5.1. Now I'm typically like getting stuff from Send Space, so we'll get it from there. Click here to start your download. Save file, that's an ad I can see. So we'll just quit that. Okay, so it's downloading now. Shift OS, public release, fantastic. Okay, so this is finished grabbing all the packages. Great. Okay, now that that's got the packages, and that's definitely still recording, fantastic. I'm now going to... what am I going to do? I'm going to get the other packages I need. So, Wine Mono. And, yeah, I'll just get Wine Mono first. Tick. Yes. There we go. Let's grab Mine Mono. It's good to see here that it tells you exactly which repositories down here. As you can see, repositories, multi-lib, community and all of that, it's good to see it tells you where all these things are coming from. Um, someone said you can access files from the Arch user repository from within this program, so just while this installs quickly, let's see if I can do that. Not installed... That tells you outdated foreign package, newer... Control D... not seeing anything that, like as a quick glance about the AUR there so yeah I'm not sure about how to get the AUR now what else was this so it said you want to install Gecko and Mono for applications that need support for Internet Explorer and the .NET framework okay so I might get uh, Gecko as well not that uh, it needs Gecko specifically because when I programmed and yes Okay, secret, secrets out, I'm the developer of Shift OS. Um, not, not that it needs Gecko, because I know I haven't programmed it to require any Internet Explorer stuff. I will later. But So I might just grab Gecko now while we're at it. Okay, now that it's getting Gecko, I'm going to now focus on trying to open the file. Good timing, it's almost ready. Here we go. So let's open the file location. So it's gone to our download. So let's see. Shift OS 0.0.5.1 public release. Now, I know that Shift OS is loud when you first open it. So let's see if this works. 
might just wait for Gecko to finish, and as soon as Gecko has finished installing, then we're going to get this whole thing up. Now let's see if it says anything else. Okay, I'm not seeing anything here. Oh, wait a sec. Wine by default is 32-bit as it is the i686 Arch package. As such, it is unable to execute any 64-bit Windows applications. The Zero Arch package, however, is built in with Enable Win 64. This activates Wine, the Wine version of WoW 64. Okay, I haven't programmed it to require 64-bit access, so it should actually just work. So let's try and run it now. Ready? Three, two, one. It really should work. This is going to work. I know it is. Well, I hope it is. Come on. So what you're about to see is a screen supposed now. In Windows, it's supposed to flash. Cheater. Oh. So what's supposed to happen here is this is supposed to be full screen, like congratulations you've been involuntarily selected to be an alpha tester for Shift OS. Now this should be full screen. Now number one, it's not full screen. That's just the first thing I've noticed. And number two, it's not making any sound. Like usually at this point you would hear like like it actually writing each line. So it's not full screen and it's not making any sound. So I'm just going to quickly look up now how to make it run uh, full screen. Oh, this will be interesting because right now it's supposed to start and scan a Windows drive. Scanning drive C. Let's see what it does. Oh, it is called C. 270. Oh, it's, it's detecting the actual hard drive. And it detected that it was NTFS. Interesting. That actually... In fact, you know what's funny about that? Because I didn't program it to say NTFS. It actually scans the file system. So it detected that drive C was NTFS. So one seems to be working in that manner. Interesting. Let me see now where Wine is installing all these packages. So let's go up to home. Uh, is there a dot .wine? There we go, dot .wine, drive C... Shift OS, so it is installing all of these files that it's saying. There we go. See them appearing. So Shift OS is actually able to do stuff here. But crash. There we go. So the next step, what Shift OS was supposed to do there, was it was supposed to open another window, full screen, and it just didn't. It was supposed to open a terminal window. So there we go, Shift OS, I couldn't get it working. I can't believe that. <laughs> That's annoying. But if I open it again, let's see what happens, because right now it should have saved a file. So let's see what happens now if I try and open it. So I'll go back to my Downloads folder. Where is Download? Download, so now it should... So it's not able to open, what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to now open a full screen black form, right? Just full screen. That's your Shift OS desktop. And then after it does a full screen black form, it's then supposed to do, uh, what do you call it? Another full screen form over it for the terminal. So you've got the desktop at the bottom and above that should be the terminal. Now it wasn't able to run Shift OS as it was supposed to be run. So let's now have another go here and get it to try and run maybe with sound and then with the, what do you call it? Full screen happening. So wine, full screen. Let's see if there's anything about wine and full screen. How to run a full screen desktop. Creates scrolling. Wine does wine go full screen? Sure. How about I just check here on the actual wiki? Because they always say read the wiki. Control F. Let's say full screen. Ah, oh, they don't have the word full screen here. What about full screen? Right. So it doesn't have anything about full screen. Okay. Well, that's a little bit of a shame that there's no full screen here. QT Wine. 
Ask you to manage configurations. Okay. Play on Linux is a graphical Windows and DOS program manager. Sys configuration and running of programs. It can manage multiple Wine versions and even a specific version for each executable. Okay. And crossover. What is crossover? So, Wine by itself wasn't able to run Shift OS. Run your favourite Windows operating system on whatever system that suits your fancy. Okay. We sell our crossover. Okay, so they support Wine, but it looks like they sell crossover. So, let's have a look here. So they've got a trial, which is interesting. Stalls Windows applications and PC games. So we might try out the trial. Let me see if I can find crossover. Cross... No crossover. How about we go for this trial then? Download trial. Linux picker distribution. Oh no. Arch isn't here. Let's see if I can find crossover. So I'm going to search up here. Crossover. No, I don't think crossover is here. So we might we might skip crossover since number one, it's not free, it's not open source. So we're going to try and do this for free. Graphics drivers, okay. And proprietary, okay. So I'm probably going to need those proprietary ones because I don't have them. Intel drivers, okay. Good and the bad drivers. A good sign that your drivers are inadequate or not properly configured is when Wine reports the following in your terminal window. Direct rendering is disabled. Okay. While we try and... Oh, there we go. By default, sound issues may arise. Sure, only one sound device is selected. Okay. What we might try and do is... I've got a version of Microsoft Office uh, in, like, you know, CDs and stuff, so I might get that now. So here we go. I've got I've got 2013 Office Home and Student, but it only allows you to install that once, unfortunately. So I'm gonna have to go back to Microsoft Office 2007 because at least the 2007 version that I bought. And yes, it's a real thing. It's not <laughs> fake. In case you guys think it's fake, uh, is that I can install this as many times as I want. Here we go. I can just go, yep, another office on another computer, and I, I don't know, I haven't had any problems, but there we go. The nice, shiny office, just to prove that it is something I have bought. And, dear me, we are running out of time. <laughs> like, the challenge of this video was to see if Shift OS would work. I don't know. I heard someone on the OS First Timer forums got Shift OS working, so let's type in OS First Timer forums. Because they, they've managed to actually run Shift OS and it loads and saves. So I don't know how they're doing it, and they've done it on Arch Linux and they've ma talked about the packages. Let's see, Office 12 setup. That was this one, I'm pretty sure. So let's try and set up Office as we do all this other stuff, just so you guys don't get bored. <laughs> Okay. Oh, what? So I'm going to cheat. I'm going to cheat now. I'm going to get play on Linux. So install. There we go. Confirm. Now this is very naughty of me getting play on Linux, but I know play on Linux is like, it's apparently a Wine front end and it just, I don't know, it just makes everything much easier to use. So whenever I get, you know, like Wine software, I always try and get Play on Linux because it is just such a good program. Like I, like, I know with Play on Linux, I can just do this. I can go up, I can grab, let's say a random game, I can go, I can grab Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 and I can go, yep, Play on Linux will make this working. Or I can go up and I can say, okay, um, Empire Earth Gold Edition. I know it'll work. So that's 
thing about Play on Linux. Play on Linux is a very good front end to wire that things just work. It just makes everything so good and easy to install. So now that Play on Linux is installed, let me see if I can find it here. System tools? No, what about accessories? Play on Linux. So it's under games. Car probably since it's mainly four games though. Uh sure, yes. Okay, so let's try and do this. Play on Linux. I want to install and let's see what it's got here. It's uh oh. Okay, we'll help you do this. Microsoft fonts are oh, that's really good. Microsoft fonts aren't installed. I'll install them for you. And that'll probably help Shift OS too, because I don't have the Shift OS fonts. I agree to whatever it said. I didn't even read it. I don't read license agreements. <sighs> Downloading, okay. The general gist I get from license agreements is this software you use at your own risk. It can cause harm to your computer if used incorrectly, like a partition manager. Uh, you should not copy and try and sell this program. You should not try and reverse engineer it unless it's open source, which you wouldn't really need to do much reverse engineering anyway because the source code's provided. And that's about it. So, yeah, just oh, I'm buy it. Don't illegally get it unless it's freeware. So, installing fonts, fantastic. Now, let's go into the Shift OS forums and see if we can get Shift OS working as well. So someone said, where did they say they did? I think in Shift OS 0 .0 0.0.5 released. And they said, what did they say? I installed the fo following packages. Mono, Mono Basic, Mono Tools. Okay, let's see. Mono. Okay, I've got Mono. I haven't got Mono Basic, so let me install that. And what else? Mono Tools. So I'll grab those two, install, tick, yes. So now that we've got those, that should increase our chances. Process, okay. It works if you install the Wine Mono package and run it as if you're running a non.NET application. Open it with the Wine Launch. Oh. Well, why didn't it work for me? Because he said, I tested it for a while, it has a few crashes from Mrs. Libraries, yeah, from downloading the right version with Yowit. And when I get a chance, I'm going to try and get it, yeah, crashes corrupt the profile. But the issue is not being able to run it at all. Hmm. So technically it should be running. Let's let's try Shift OS one more time. Where is Shift OS? Office 12 downloads. Run the desktop, run the desktop. So what I'm seeing, I'm seeing for a second, the two windows are there, but they just instantly crash straight away. Ah. Uh. And these should be installed now, so I don't quite know why it's not working. Maybe you guys can help me on this. Mono develop. Yeah, because I'm not I'm not sure exactly how to get this working. I can try how's play on Linux go? I can try right now and delete the shift profile because sometimes it can get corrupted. So let's go to my C drive. I feel so strange having a C drive. And just delete this because that's your save file. Now that I've done that, let me try one more time to run Shift OS. And if I can't get it, maybe you guys can give me some advice on how to. So it's flashing, but still no sound, unfortunately. So if it doesn't end up working, then you guys can give me some advice on how to get it working. But until then, I've got 15 minutes to install this program. Okay. I'd was not looking at the time, so I've lost time. Uh, can I just quickly... Office? Oh, there we go. Thank goodness. Install. Okay. Tick. 
Okay, next. Please wait while the virtual drive... Oh, what? It's downloading this version of Wine now. So maybe it's downloading this version of Wine because this is the version that works with Office 2007, something like that. So maybe it'll work now. Okay, I've got 20 minutes. It's, it's, really putting, it's really putting me to the test here to have 20 minutes to install this whole Office program. I'm interested to see how this will go. Extracting wine, come on. Downloading, okay. Now, so what did it say about what I could do with wine and sound? May arise, okay. Ensure only one sound device is selected. In a Okay, wait. It's just it's just updating wine right now and everything's running slow. Okay. If you want the ALSA driver, you need to... I'm just worried if I get that ALSA driver, nothing will work. And as you can see straight away, Shift OS, I just can't get it to work properly. Um, it's mounted... But it was just a CD. Where is your mounted CD ROM? Is it there? Maybe we'll find... Okay, we'll try again. Other? Media slash CD ROM. Ah. Oh. Got to try and work out where this is. Maybe if I go to home. Ah, uh, so it's probably not in home. It is actually probably in media. But then I can't see anything here. What? Where is this? Run slash media. Maybe I'll try put that in. Okay, there we go. Next. Reading. Yes. Okay, I figured that out. So I just had to put the right drive there. By the way... This is not a problem with the video. This is... Ugh. Imagine sending the error report to Microsoft. That would be mean, because it's on wine. <laughs> Has encountered an error. Does not work correctly. It might be the cause of the program. Ugh. Binary not found. Winword.execute. Winword. So it should be here somewhere. Maybe because I need the 60... No, it shouldn't be because of that. Excel, PowerPoint, Word. Is this the right file? Maybe I'll try the setup one more time. Wine Windows Loader. Oh, no. So it looks like it's not as easy as I thought. When I was on, I don't know what it was, Linux Mint or something, I just installed, you know, what I needed to install and it just worked. But now I can't actually get anything working as well as I did before. Maybe I just need to try one more time. Next. The target drive, okay. Try one more time. Maybe I just typed in the wrong location or something like that. That's what I'm guessing. So, that's not going to work. Other media slash CD ROM. Will that work? No. That's got to be... I'll make sure it's the right disk. Because I'm pretty sure, well, it only comes with one disc anyway. That's another disc altogether. So, yeah, that's definitely the right disc. It just can't seem to find winword.execute. Show hidden files. And that's the thing. I can't even find winword.execute. So if I can't find it, I'm starting to think, yeah, maybe there is a good reason why I can't find it. Uh, can I do a search here? Control F. Try and get winword running. So you're probably wondering what's just happened, why did everything suddenly just cut just then? I don't even know when everything cut. You know what it's done? Wine, while Simple Screen Recorder was running, has absolutely just corrupted the um, file I was just recording. So 
I, c I can't s blame it just on wine, okay? I can't blame wine. It is now, my time's up, but what I was trying to do is, I don't know if you saw this, but I tried Office and it just would not install. I tried getting this, what you might call it, wine, I, can't, I don't even know now, what was it? I tried getting Play on Linux, Office still had a problem with Play on Linux, I don't know if you saw that. I tried Rollercoaster Tycoon 3 uh, after sticking in the Office disk and look at what's happened here, it's just crazy. The files are just, you can't read anything. Well, it's kind of saying things, but everything's messed up. And it's still saying Office 12 here. So maybe I just need a reboot. Maybe. But apart from that, I'm really not sure what to do. Because a lot of these just look like crazy images. And and has something else just crashed. And now, look. System's completely crashed with the... Yeah. I've, I've lost my window manager now. Comp is... GDK, let's just go to GDK quickly. What? Oh no. Okay, I'm switching to Openbox because Compi's just crashed completely. So, what do I have to say? I've got to say that this didn't work. I'm sorry. Everything I did didn't work. I've tried Wine. I've tried Wine Q4. I've tried... And Wine Q4 is pretty cool because... It's actually, here's Q4 Wine. You've, you've got like the internet working and notepad working and stuff and the actual task, like here's notepad for example. And it, it just, it just works. It's interesting that these programs can work, but then at the same time, I can't at all just get anything I'm trying to install working. So Shift OS didn't work properly, Rollercoaster Tycoon 3 didn't work properly, Microsoft Office 2007 didn't install properly, everything just had constant errors. I need your help. Can you edit and find? There's no find. Help tools find files. Okay, Control Shift F. Okay. So, win word find. It's now looking for win word. Oh, I have a feeling it won't find this. No item, so it didn't find it. Enjoy using Play on Linux. Okay. I might just quickly Google search. Play on Linux Arch uh, can't find WinWord. That's just what I'm going to do. This word power. They've got it working. Okay, here we go. Can't find WinWord.execute. Play on Linux fails to install Office 2007. Image mounted with Ace Tone. Can't find WinWord Excel. Did you install on the default location? Tried two different images. Also installed IE7, but same problem. System Arch Linux 64 bit status changed to won't fix. No, s hello, not support piracy. Please use original CD. Well, I've got the original CD. Mine is also a legal version made as ISO. I just got the ROM then and it fixed it. But that's the thing, I have got the legal CD, so I don't know why it would be having an issue now. Uh, I'm completely lost and I think I will need your help. I can't get 2007 Office working, I can't get anything working, so it looks like Wine and Play on Linux aren't as easy to install as I thought. Maybe you have to do some configuration stuff. Do I have Octopi still? Maybe it's got some other programs. Wine. Might just get that 
and wine tricks and to mount ISO file. Just a few more things, just see if getting these dependencies works. Otherwise, I'm probably going to have to go into some other episode, next episode, try and, you know, do these, you know how you have to, like, do these configuration files and stuff? So I might have to do something like that. Now, can I find QT wine here? Q, oh, Q4 wine, okay. So I've got that. And that should start up very soon. I've also got this manage printing. I wonder if printing would work. That would be interesting. Okay. So welcome to the first startup wizard. This wizard helps you make all the necessary steps for successful QT wine setup. Please press the next button. Okay. Next. Sure. I just guess, yep. I'm really confused. This is a lot of options. Uh, okay, fine. Fuse ISO next. Maybe just installing this will help it. What? It is impossible for free software to exist in Ukraine. Okay. That's really not fair. Free software should be available everywhere. Anyway, QT for wine. Let's try and run. Huh. I wonder if this will properly run um, Shift OS. That would that would be an interesting tr thing to see if it works. So system. Are oh, you kidding? Oh, I've got you've got like this um what you call Minesweeper here too. Okay. I explore. You're kidding, you've got like Internet Explorer here. That's cool. That can browse the internet. Awesome. You've got WordPad. There we go. Great. Are they allowed to have WordPad and all of this if they've taken it from Windows? Or maybe these have been redone. What about Task Manager? Oh, it just looks like the same task manager I'm used to with Windows, except I'm not usually used to six processors. I'm used to a lot more than that. But anyway, while we're here, let's try now to run Shift OS. What about... Ah, still can't get it to work. Okay, don't worry, set up. Explorer.execute. Oh, you've also got the whole Explorer thing with my computer, Office 12. Oh, and you've got the drives there. That's good. Because I like, I'm used to C drive, D drive, and all of that. C drive. Oh, I can't access this. C drive. Program file, shift OS. Yeah, that's good. The way that works. Okay, so let me try set up here. Maybe I need to run as administrator. So right click. But I can't run as administrator. Uh, this is harder than I thought. Home and student. Has it got like excel.execute? Because I'm I don't think these executable where are the all these executable files? I'm just not seeing them. Office two O O seven wine. This is starting to turn into a bad, bad attempt. This entry is for testing the installer of Office 2007. Okay. Please see the individual. Okay. Rating gold. Cell. Stand and install, adding and removing programs. Okay, that, that apparently works. What does not? Custom install. Okay. Current, Roseanne, so it should work. An anonymous user, so it apparently does work. Yes, installs, runs, yes, yes. So why, if it works, why would I not be able to open it? If you have 64-bit one installed, you must create the wine, yep, to run it, or pro, or install, okay, but that doesn't have anything to do with installation. The bad versions above.
office do... What, what about, like, okay, why an Arch Linux then? Why an Arch Linux? And that's auto start. Oh. And those are all the processes. Allows you to browse, you know, but... So setup.execute doesn't work. Maybe I need administrator privileges. Let's try that. So if I run... How do you do wine from terminal? Wait a sec. Let me... CD, and then let's try and get to this drive, first of all. Yep. Okay, setup.exe. Setup. How do you run setup? Run setup. Command not found. Ah, oh, how do you run setup then? What about wine? Wine arguments. Okay. Run to specify program. Displays help. Output. So what version do I have? Wait. Wine program setup dot exe cannot find Windows oh such program so it's actually looking for a program that's pre-installed so what if I kind of do that that's not going to work. Okay. I'm thinking I might have to end this video he here. I've got five minutes left. So here's what I need to work out. Number one, how do I get Microsoft Office 2007 installed with Wine? I tried it in Play on Linux. I haven't really tried it in this, but this thing doesn't really seem to help me. Options, it's got a bunch of options and stuff. Maybe I have to change some options in here. In fact, last test. You know what? Let's just really test if everything really doesn't work. Uh, this is my last attempt to install something. Let's try and install Rollercoaster Tycoon 3. And if I can't, then we know there's something wrong. So this is the last one now. And I've got five minutes. So roller coaster tycoon three. This is what we're gonna try and run. Which I bought when did I buy that? Ages ago. Sometime, I think two thousand and six. So it was a long time ago. And its specifications are quite low, so it requires like a hundred and twenty eight meg of RAM. It's really easy. Okay. Well, let's see. I've got the CD in. Yeah, I, I thought something weird was going on there. What? Yeah, something strange is happening there. Let me maybe just get in and out of that. Wine Explorer, let's yeah, get out of it here too. My computer, there we go. Oh. So now it's having trouble detecting simply Roller Coaster Tycoon, the CD itself. One device, oh no. So, why can't I close that window? <laughs> okay, so maybe it's got something to do with. That stopped.